Hi all, we are very excited for you to try out Bitto's AI code review agent where we have recently launched support for Bitbucket. Let's quickly show you how to set it up. Once you go to bitto.ai, click on sign in and sign in using your email address. Out here in the list of workspaces that is shown, select the workspace wherein you have 10x developer plan. Note that Bitto code review agent is only available in 10x developer plan as well as the team plan. And if you want free trial, uh, that option is also available for you to try out uh, code review agent. Now let's quickly go to a 10x workspace out here. On the left hand side, you will see explore agents and configure agents. Click on explore agents. You'll see the code review agent. Let's create a new instance of a code review agent. Out here in the drop down, as we are going to configure it for Bitbucket, select Bitbucket. Now, it, what thing you'll need is the Bitbucket access token. Now, let's quickly look at how to create Bitbucket access token. In Bitbucket, there are three different types of access tokens that you can create. One is repository access token, the other one is project level access token, and the third one is workspace level access token. Remember that you need to have admin access for either repository or the project or the workspace so that you can create access tokens. And all of the three access tokens are supported by Bitto code review agent. Now let's quickly look at how do you create a repository level access token. So click on the repository, go to repository settings and under repository settings, you'll basically have access tokens. You can go here and create repository access token. Out here, you need to select under pull request write, which will automatically select read, and then we need webhooks with read write access. This is the only thing that you need to do. Let me put uh, a name for this token, Pito CRA repo access token. All right. So I can create this particular access token and then use it with Pito. Uh, it will show you the access token and various ways to use it. We just need the first one out here. Uh, just the access token. Now this is how you create repository level access token. Let me quickly show you how to create project level access token. So under projects, select the project for which you want to create the access token. Go to project settings. Under project settings, you have access tokens. You can click on it. The same approach, create project access token. Then you can go here. I can give it a name. Again, select, you know, pull request. Uh, write, which will automatically select read and then webhooks read and write and create. The difference between repository level and the project level access token is repository level access token only provides access to that repository. Project level access token provides access to all the repositories in that particular project. Again, out here, you can select the first access token that you see in this particular list. And the third option is basically workspace level. Uh, access token, which provides access to all the repositories in all the projects in that particular workspace. So let me actually go to the settings here, click on workspace settings, and then go to access tokens here, and I can create a workspace access token. So let me create it here and select write in pull request and read and write in webhooks, and that will select all the uh, required stuff and then I can basically press on create. Again out here it will show you various ways to access the tokens. I'll just select the first one. You can use any of these three tokens to configure Bitto's CRA. Uh, for now I'll be using the workspace level access token but you can use repository level as well as project level depending upon whether you have premium account with Bitbucket or not. If you don't have premium account at least you'll have repository level access tokens. Okay, so let me copy this, go back to Bitto out here and in the Bitbucket access token, let me copy this. Let me give an instance name and then hit on save and view set of instructions. As you can see, it will give you detailed set of instructions of how to set up the webhook. So it says that log into your Bitbucket, choose your repository, access webhook settings and add a new webhook. So let me go back to Bitbucket out here and 
let me select a repository once I go to the repository let me go to the repository settings let me go to webhooks out here and add a webhook so title is on the URL part let me go to Pito, copy the URL here then I need to use a secret. Let me go back to Bito, copy the secret, paste the secret here, and then I need to select the permissions or triggers out here. Let me go back and see what triggers I need to select. So pull request, comment created, created, merged, and declined. So I don't need repository, I need created, merged, declined, and comment created just verifying it once more and then I hit save let me actually go and view the request here it's always good to basically enable history so that you can see if things are working properly or not now let me go to a pull request for this particular repository and see whether my webhook is set up properly to the pull requests so this is one of the pull requests let me go to this one which I would like to review uh, Bitto supports slash commands, so I can do slash review. As you see, it's highlighted in blue. This is like the command supported by uh, Bitbucket, but I don't want to use that. I want to use Bitto, so I'll hit a space. You can see the blue uh, highlighting is gone. So I'll say slash review and then add a comment. The moment this particular comment goes, uh, Bitto's code review agent, which is configured as a webhook, knows that you want to do a review and it will start the process of review. As you can see, this pull request is uploaded and uh, you can see the message from Bito code review agent saying that the code review is in progress and it will take about less than three minutes uh, unless the PR is large. So let's wait for uh, Bito to code review and provide us any uh, suggestions. As you can see, the review is completed and basically there was no feedback out here uh, but it did give you a high level feedback because there are no issues in the code and there you go your code review ran properly and the webhook is set up properly in Bitbucket. Thanks hope you enjoy.